The government says a new multi-million dollar commuter car park at Thoreau will alleviate parking issues caused by the train timetable change introduced in 2013. But commuters and the state opposition say the new car park is a band-aid solution. A government digging up and a new transport minister with a plan. Today, construction began on a 150-space commuter car park at Thoreau. The $200 million project aims to alleviate pressure on the current car park, which continues to overflow since the government introduced the new train timetable. It's designed to improve access uh, to the rail network on the part of our local people. Doing something about public transport will probably be a better idea. We need to make some small timetable changes to pick up passengers at Wanoona and Ostermere, where we already have fairly new commuter car parks in place. The start of construction at this disused site on Church Street completes a backflip in the Liberals' approach to the parking issue. Previously, the member for Heathcote has stated another commuter car park would ruin the amenity of the rule. But upon reflection, he's had a change of heart. The new commuter car park is due to open in August. I uh, must admit this, this area didn't occur to me as an area that we could, we could utilise, and I'm very, very happy that, um, that uh, transport... New South Wales has seen clear that this is an area that we can utilise. The new Transport Minister today remained non-committal on funding for lifts at Unendera Station, though he did say he has referred the issue to Transport for New South Wales. If there are reasons why we can't do something, I will come back to the community in an open, transparent way and explain it. Rob Morrison, Wind News.